International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, President. This is a joint statement. We welcome the resolution to ensure the full implementation of the database of businesses facilitating Israeli settlements in the OPT and the partial update. The effectiveness and the credibility of the Council and the Office has suffered considerably from the chronic under-implementation of the database. It is crucial that future updates are conducted annually, regularly, including both the addition and removal of businesses. We regret that some states failed to vote in favor to ensure the implementation of the mandate. We believe this failure constitutes a dangerous example of double standards and urge states who abstained or voted against to approach this issue in line with right standards and their duties. We welcome that the resolution on civil society space addressed the limitations to civil society participation in decision-making processes, including at the UN, and called on states to enable and institutionalize meaningful online participation in hybrid meetings and to establish transparent, fair, and gender-responsive accreditation processes. And we welcome that it acknowledges the significant role played by civil society, but regret that their role in prevention and the Council's prevention mandate were not highlighted. We also welcome that it emphasizes undue restrictions of civil space, including on funding, but express concern that it does not address the misuse of restrictive laws in a more comprehensive manner. We welcome the resolutions on child and early forced marriage and violence against women and girls, despite hostile amendments contravening international human rights law, UN and WHO guidelines. And we welcome resolutions on digital technologies, arms transfers, judges and lawyers, Belarus, Eritrea, Colombia, Syria and Ukraine. We regret that the resolution on countering religious hatred focuses on religious books and symbols that do not enjoy protection under international human rights law, rather on, on, than on the individuals and groups, and that the resolution on the contribution of development weakens a widely endorsed human rights-based approach to development, disregarding strong concerns shared across all regions, including from developing countries, as reflected in today's abstentions. We also regret that the Council failed to adequately respond to the situations of migrants and Rohingya and the situations in China, Egypt, India, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, and Tunisia. The full version will be uploaded on the extranet. Thank you. Thank you.